There will be no turning back. So, what do you get when you mix together Sly Cooper, Kim Possible, and those old insurance commercials? Well, I got your answer. Who are you, really? You can call me Carmen. Yep, Carmen San Diego is getting a new show. How the heck would you figure that out? Unless you read the title of the video. The hit game show from over 25 years ago that was based on a computer game has now returned to us in a reboot form on January 18th on Netflix. And some of you might be asking right now, who the fudge is Carmen San Diego? Well, for some of you who might not know, Carmen San Diego was an animated character in a red fedora who was a master criminal and thief, and she had her very own game show. And the ultimate goal of the game was to capture Carmen herself, along with dealing with her other bitch henchmen and villains in her own television TV show, and put a stop to her wherever she might be. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I don't know. You better go find her. But she was a pretty gracious thief though, since she would only steal from people that have already stolen something. So, hey, congrats for that. Hey, it turns out that the series first aired back in September 30th of 1991 and the final episode was December 22nd of 1995. So yeah, pretty much 24 years. So. Why now? Why do the reboot, Netflix? Well, if you haven't noticed, Netflix loves doing a lot of reboots. Just look at the reboot they did for the Magical School Bus. And that one turned out just fine. Yes, it turned out great. Yeah, 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 you know, it, it kind of sucked. I got you. Well, when it's hard making a whole new and original show sometimes, sometimes you just gotta reach back through the hands of time and grab some profit and make an old ass show new again and hopefully people won't realize it and they won't find out. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's what we're hoping. The show was made first of all back then because people around the world just sucked so much at geography and they just in general didn't know where the hell landscapes were and they didn't know where lots of monuments were, a lot of geographic stuff around the world for United States and different uh, countries from around the world. So they figured, hey, if we turn it into a TV game show, maybe people actually pay attention and they might pick up and learn something for once. What is the largest country in South America? In South America, Nope. Tell me where is Carmen Sandiego? When I went back to go check out the old intro for the old Carmen San Diego, I was always wondering why would they be doing this with some gospel sounding theme for the original show? I feel like I'm sitting back at church while getting blasted in the face with some knowledge about geography and just so much more. But hey, she's teaming up with her good old friends of April O'Neil and Dennis the Menace, so hey, she's got that on her side. There's nothing that Carmen can't do. Yep, that's what Carmen San Diego is all about. Breaking barriers, being a strong, independent woman, and providing people of all ages with a lot of good knowledge. Despite the older show coming out so long ago, it still had some very nice animation. Although you can really tell the show is outdated, I mean, what? look right here, like look at these two towers right here. What are those? What are they doing there? Silly towers. So let's just take a look at the new trailer for the new show of Carmen San Diego. How did you ever wind up in crime school? You want the whole story? Right from the get-go, you'll notice that the show had the animation stylings of the show The Wild Kratts. Yeah, remember that? It's on Netflix, cause yeah, put everything on Netflix. And those old insurance commercials. So yeah, I can dig it. Insurance could be all you need. Take a fresh look at your auto insurance. Okay, Aaron, I think I'll go check it out. So it starts off with Carmen on a train talking to what looks like to be Anakin Skywalker. So yeah, she starts explaining on how it all started with setting that really mysterious vibe and that very ominous tone. Welcome to Vile Training Academy for Thieves. If you choose a path. We'll see her train at Vile Academy. That's right, we got a backstory, baby. Cause you gotta give characters a good backstory or there's gonna be no way we can relate to them. That's how it works. So we see her train at Vile Academy, the most prestigious school for thieves. This must be where Sly went. And this is where she learns that sometimes stealing can be crossing the line. Cause you might put others in danger. when you're willing to steal lives. Yeah, stealing is dangerous. How do you think those bandits from Home Alone felt? They were always getting their ass kicked. Heads up! 
Yeah, they continue to show off her in the trailer, and they're showing that she's becoming more of a hero, and similar to the likes of Batman, cause everybody loves Batman. And if you don't like Batman, you must be a terrorist. So while the trailer continues to roll, Vile is stealing from all over the world. They start playing some Camilla Cabela song of Havana. So they got a lot of genuine new millennials tastes. Cool, Carmen explains that Vile has been stealing from all over the world. But she's going to try to recover the artifacts that have been stolen and be some sort of an anti-hero that fights on the side of good. Because, yeah, she's a woman and she's independent and she don't need no man. We get more of the rundown from the rest of the trailer as we see that she has her own version of Wade helping her out. Let's get this party started. That's right, and he's taking on the form of 2010's Justin Bieber. So, oh baby. Oh, oh my god. But at least this Carmen seems pretty likable. Even safe for how long? And at least we know she's somebody that we're all gonna want to root for. Because she's got spice, a spunky attitude, and she's not backing down to anybody, and she ain't leaving without a fight. You wearing a coat in this heat? A lady needs her tools. There's gonna be a lot of Rule 34 shit going around though with this show. That's all I can say, that's my prediction. And uh, a lot of people are gonna be really trying to put the D in San Diego. But that's cool, maybe nobody will notice. But yeah, that's pretty much the show. You got Carmen San Diego. She's a villain who's a spy, who's now an anti-hero, who helps other people to steal artifacts and help you learn about geography. Cause learning is knowledge and knowledge is power. Let's get this party started. And with a lot of power, you can make a lot of difference differences in the world. Just ask Donald Trump. Man, fuck that bitch. I hate him. But you already know. The series seems to be starting off strong. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this new Carmen San Diego TV show. And what do you think this version will be? Do you think it's going to be a lot better or will it be a lot worse from the show we had over 25 years ago? I appreciate you guys for watching. Try ringing that darn notification bell and I'll see you guys next time. Stay awesome and take care. Corey out. Peace. Indonesia. You wearing a coat in this heat? A lady needs her tools. Things that you say is in a love for just to flay my worries away. You're all the things I've got to remember. You're shining.